New at 6 o'clock, there have been memorials and tributes over the past six years to the people who were killed and those who survived the massacre at Emanuel AME Church on June 17, 2015. But one face and one voice were kept hidden and silent until tonight. I spent an afternoon with the youngest person in the room when a gunman opened fire at Mother Emanuel. Six years after that horrific night, Kamaya Madigold and her grandmother, who also survived the massacre, still find comfort in fellowship and faith. My name is Felicia Sanders, a survivor of the June 17, 2015 massacre. I present to you the only, the only child that was in that church that night. The 11 year old girl who is now 17 years old. Here she is, Ms. Kamaya Manning. Is this a place you enjoy being? Yes, this is a place I enjoy being, actually. Whenever I was younger, I was like, oh, church. At least I love Bible study. One of my like favorite places, like I made my friends here and I consider like the people here to be my family. But you said you enjoyed going to Bible study. I did. So when you went to Bible study, if you answered a question correctly, you got a nickel. I did. Do you remember who would give you the nickels? So Mr. Simmons, I remember um, Pinkney giving me a nickel one time. Pinckney, or State Senator Reverend Clemente Pinckney, and Mr. Simmons, Reverend Daniel Simmons, were with Kamaya Manigold on June 17, 2015, at Bible study inside of Emanuel AME Church. On that night, Bible study ended when a gunman opened fire on the 13 people inside of that room. Kamaya was 11 years old at the time, her grandmother, Felicia Sanders, whispered to her to stay still on the floor and pretend to be dead so they would have a chance at living. Is it something you think about every day? Not every day. Personally, I think that like people that like weren't there like say like they forgive this person, but it's like, I don't know, harder for like the actual people too. It's like, how do you forgive something that you don't understand? Like I've forgiven. And that doesn't mean I can like move on. Where are you in terms of your thoughts about what happened? I can't move on. Right. And I, like through the beginning, I shut down a lot. I still like shut down sometimes. It's like those were like difficult moments. Tell me about your relationship with your grandmother. I know, like, we went through a lot together, and I know, like, a lot of times it was hard, and I know it still is hard, um, but she has been with me, like, through it all. Felicia Sanders explained to an audience of supporters six years after that night that the family protected Kamaya from questions and cameras as long as they could. Her identity was changed to minor child, granddaughter. Until now. All of the shirts I was selling today um, are a little like punchlines from my poetry. The high school student is now a budding entrepreneur, writing poetry, designing and selling t shirts, pushing through her pain, finding inspiration. What do you want people to know about what you've experienced in your life? I don't know, I guess that I'm okay. <laughs> You are? I am. Kamaya's 